What up, YouTube? I am your host, Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews, back in here with yet one more video. I brought my bro back through Tehran. What's good? What's good? How you what's doing? Good, man. What's you good, man? What's good? Man, absolutely. Sorry. You know, absolutely. Listen, man. <laughs> You created a wave in that last video. Oh, shit, I appreciate you. You created a wave in that last video. Let's so keep it real. I told the people we had to bring you back. You know what I'm saying? So this no, no. this video over here is is AMS actually. So this is the okay. first time that I had one of my bros come through to talk about one of AMS's videos, but I feel like we gotta do it. You know, I, you know, I, I wanted to be able to provide perspectives from both sides of the coin as well. That's like, good. like what do dudes feel about the, uh, you know, this uh, type of content as well? I think it's Thanks. very important to to talk about. All right. No doubt. Let's do it. Let's get into it. All right. Without further ado, wait. So the name of the video: What's the alpha male endgame and masculine frame misconception? So we have yeah. both not seen this video, but yeah. without further ado, let's just get right in this. Let's get it. What's up, fellas? So today I got a guy that asked me, uh, where does all this end? You know, the horn and, you know, dealing with so many girls and shit like that. He wants to know, like, what's the end game? And I think a lot of you guys, especially you younger guys, are wondering the same thing. Like, is my life destined to just be dealing with a bunch of women with nothing meaningful and all this and that shit? <clears throat> all right, guys. So basically what he's talking about is essentially what we are red pill aware all right guys i don't think no guy who's watching my channel really likes to be dealing with a rotation of women let's just be honest guys deep down we all would like to have the fantasy that we see on tv about the wife that loves you with two kids the picket fence and all this other shit i think deep down we would all genuinely want that all right, the problem is we're red pill aware. All right, we're all red pill aware, which means that we know that's bullshit. And so that's why we all over here, we fucking sluts. All right, that's why we all over here, man whores. It's because we know women are incapable of loving us, genuinely. All right, you lose your job, that love gonna thin out real fucking fast, all right? So basically what he don't understand about asking, what he's asking me this, is that this is not the way we want to be. We're just adapting to what reality is, all right? Because guys, generally speaking, man, before I was red pill aware, and guys understand, I was red pill aware way before this YouTube shit, all right? I became red pill aware when I became an alpha, like right around 27 years old. All right, I became, I know, I, I realized then that women aren't about shit. All right, that's when I took on this lifestyle. Now, some of you guys are lucky enough and you learned this shit earlier than I did. I didn't learn that shit till I was 27. Some guys know this shit when they was 14, 15 fucking holes to sleep. All right, I didn't learn until I was about 27. Up till I was 27, I believed in the picket fence and all that other bullshit. All right, unfortunately, after a while of just paying not just to my life friends and family life i realized women aren't about shit and i became red pillar web before it became a word a word all right so it ain't no putting that bottle back in the pill It's no once you take the red pill it's impossible of going back red pill blue pill because you know what reality is all right so what we're forced to deal with we're forced to handle women as for what they are, sex objects, all right? So this is the point, guys. Either you're going to use women as sex objects or they're going to use you as a tool. Now, what do I mean by a tool? A tool means that you're going to get her what she need for survival, all right? That's, what, that's basically what a woman look as, at us as, all right? That's it. Either you're going to be a guy she uses for non-sexual attention, a beta male provider, or you can be what we are, alpha males who just fuck these hoes to sleep, all right? All right, so yeah, he makes some real, real good ass points. Um, you know, when it comes to men, you know, and that type B mentality, you know, out here, you know, simply to these girls, like I was saying before, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of these dudes begin with these girls and be like, all right, I want to, I'm trying to get with her, so I'm doing everything I can to be with her, but really, she just, you, you're her time. You, you, she, you, you just, the sex for her is your time. She taking your time from you. And mm -hmm. you investing all your money and all that, you still ain't hit. You still ain't getting none. We all been here, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to get with this girl to hope that I will set my way into some, or 
uh, eventually she'll break up with her boyfriend and I'll be out sliding, you know, some guilty or mm -hmm. some regretful drunk, whatever it is, you know, bullshit we be trying to get into because that's why I tell women, you ain't got no guy friends. Ain't no dude, in this, if you tell every dude you talk to, that yeah, true guy yeah, friend, yeah, yeah. tell every dude that you talk to, you'll never hit this, you'll never get with this, and see how many of them call you back. Mm. I'm one of them, I ain't calling back. Like for her, like, I, ain't, I don't need no friend, I don't need no new friends. I don't need none of them chicks out here that I'm gonna be entertaining and all of that bullshit that dudes be doing just to just to say okay I hope I can hope my way into some nah bro I'm cool like I I'm here to give you options right mm. I'm 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 gonna be exactly who I am from day zero and keep it honest once mm. I'm honest with you it's your choice to stay or leave like I don't have like I tell I t if I tell a girl hey this is who I am and you stick around you stick around because you you rock with what I, you believe in what I'm doing. Mm. But if I'm not a, if I'm not on my A game, you gonna challenge me because that's what women are supposed to do. You are supposed to be who you gonna be. That's that's cool. But if I'm not on my game, if I'm not out here doing what I'm supposed to be doing, and I don't live the life I'm talking about, then you think I'm full of shit. You gonna leave just like anybody else. Mm. So so let me ask you a question. So so what do you think? Like 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 what is feeding women this uh, information that is you know making dudes simp? Right? Like like <laughs> like like what is the <laughs> Like, where was the breakdown at? Like, other like, women. It comes from other women. You listen to other women who single as hell and they they miserable. So they trying to tell, they trying to show you what they don't know. So mm -hmm. you out here like reading these magazines on forty ways to keep a man and all this bullshit. Yo, two ways to keep me. Don't argue and don't start no bullshit. That's the same thing. Like I'm I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool with both of them. Like yo, I I, I will deal with most of the chicks up I'm dating if, if we ain't argue about nothing. Mm. That's the main thing. I don't want no headache. It shouldn't be that hard. Like you know what I want, you and you know what. So once we get what we want, what keeps us around, ladies? If we get what we, you know, we want sex, right? All of us, when we look at you, we look at you from a physical standpoint. We look at you from the bound, from the ground up. You looking at us from the top. You looking at our mind. Is he is he smart? Is he charming? Is he educated? Is he this? Is he dressed well? All this goofy shit. But you giving the dude that you talking to the same thing you gave your last dude, pussy. So that's what it comes down to. But I mean, reality of it is, you know that. But you play all these games, and we still like, look, you know, I want to fuck. And if you like me, then let's let's meet somewhere. Let's let's do mm -hmm. it. But what keep me around? You got to keep. What keeps me around is that you believe in my bullshit. Hey, you're actually cool. I actually fuck with you. But I ain't never seen a girl say, "Damn, she's a doctor. Uh, I I just want to fuck her." No, I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, we like I said, do what you gonna do. But I'm never gonna. I'm gonna be who I'm gonna be. I'm not going to, you don't, in other words, all you have in this world is that I'm cool. That I'm that nigga to you, not to anybody else. And if I'm out here, if I'm out here lacking, if I'm not out here working, there ain't no such thing as a stay-at-home dad. My girls, yo, if my girl want, if she want to be at home, if she want to work, that's cool with her. But guess what? There ain't no option for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure she good because I'm going to make sure at the end of the day, I don't have to look at her and make sure we we are right. She's going to look at me and know that we always going to be all right. Like, it ain't gonna be like, we talk about equal and all this shit. If it's equal, that means if a thief coming in the room, you gonna go check it this time, because it's equal, right? It ain't, it ain't gonna be one time where I'm gonna be sitting there like, yo, you know what, babe, I'm gonna check in. We live in a bad neighborhood, why don't you go check for this one? No, I'm always mm -hmm. gonna hold you down, I'm gonna protect you. Right. I'm gonna bring you up. You can't be scared of that. But see, you ain't never met no dude where you felt like comfortable to release that, to say, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust that. You around these dudes out here attracting them same, again, attracting them same dudes. And you wonder why ain't shit changing. You wonder why you single, you listen to your friends, they single too. I can smell a single girl a mile away. All of y'all, y'all y'all miserable as hell out here. All this shit y'all doing, hey, I'm part of all these damn, you know, you filling up all your time, taking all these pictures out here, part of all these little clubs and all that shit. But guess what? All your girlfriends going home getting smashed. And you out here single as hell, talking shit. Hey, it is what it is, man. I mean... I mean, I don't know. I mean, what you what you, what you think? I mean, it, it's just how do we how do we project that? We we there's a gap here because you know if I pour out my feelings like we used to, then you gonna you gonna look at me as an option that you don't want because now you got me wrapped around your finger. But if you say, look, if you slightly like yo, I fuck with him because other people want to fuck with him till they believe in what he's doing, then you're not gonna go nowhere. But if you think I'm full of shit or you think I'm one of them dudes where you playing with, you gonna be like, all right, I don't need this dude. I know I know five of them. Mm. But you gotta you, you gotta find that king balance. You gotta find that that level of leadership to say, hey, look, I believe this dude. He I ride with him. I I, I trust him to lead us somewhere. Mm. Not like because at the end of the day, 
if if you taking if if you gonna take if you taking care of me, then you basically gotta you it's like you my mama. Mm. You don't want nobody you gotta take care of. Mm. Like let's be real. You don't. It, it, it should. It, it's you know what I call it. I call it long term gains for the, for a short term gains for long term losses. Mm. You out here doing these little things like I lose my job and for the short term it's cool, but that's not sustainable. Mm. You're not gonna stick around when all your girls out here bragging. Yeah, my man took me here. What your man do? Oh yeah, he he's in between jobs right now. You know he stays at home. That shit get old. It mm. gets old. You don't want. Trust me, you don't want to be that. You don't want to be that lady. And you don't want to be that dude. Mm. Yes, man. I, well, I'm, I'll be honest with you. I think you just said it all. I don't know if we're gonna keep on going. <laughs> I mean, I mean, look at it from growth standpoint, right? We we grow separately, but we have to grow together. But at the same time, I have to be all the women I dated. None of them can help me become who I'm supposed to be. I had to be a man of my own. I had to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Because if I didn't figure it out, they were gonna, they weren't for damn sure gonna figure it for me. And I'm not saying a woman can't raise um, uh, uh, you know, kids and all that, but ain't not one woman out here can teach a man how to be a man. You need that father figure. You need that that foundation, that ground. And if you don't have it, you know you got these dudes out here with mommy issues and daddy issues, and now they taking it on you. You now you it's the cycle continues, and now it's another broken home. It's another situation where. Oh, now he's insecure. Like I don't have no time to micromanage. I gotta, yo, I'm, I don't care about all that. I don't care about these other niggas. Don't compare me to a nigga that clock in for work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm out here. We out here making moves. There ain't mm -hmm. no disrespect to to other dudes out here. Uh, any of that shit. But like, we gotta make sure we keep it in 100. I got energy. I ain't trying to burn on no bullshit. And and, and arguing with the wrong chick, yo, that shit is energy. Dealing with the wrong situation, is energy. A lot of these dudes are stuck. Y'all in these situations where you married the chick, and now you or now you been with the chick for so long. No, nigga, that's a relationship. Yeah, you ain't out <laughs> here a doing relationship. Nothing. It's a relationship. It's a relationship. It ain't even a relationship no more because now you now you into the you in the weeds with this bitch. Right, you just settled, and that's just your life. Yeah, and now he's like, I don't know how to get rid of it. Now I'm gonna be stuck with this shit. I can't get out of it, man. You better leave. Your time valuable. So 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 let me ask you another question too. And you and you're you're going off right now. By the way, <laughs> you're going off. I want to, but I want to ground you in at least what the title of this video is again was. What's the alpha male end game? So if you could share your perspectives, right? Like on if you know you found a good one. You know you got. You know you found you a good one. The end game is to find someone where you ain't got to switch up. You can be exactly who you gonna be. Cause mm. men, we all got filters. We talk with filters all the time. You know how you talk around your boys. You see, you see somebody out like in the. You know, you heard the, the say. You see somebody out with his girl. You're like that nigga don't act like that. You know what I'm saying? With Mike did that shit. Yeah, yeah. Cause yeah, that yeah, nigga yeah. don't act like that. Where the bitches? You know, where the, where, the nigga, where the bitches? Where the bitches? You know what I'm saying? Like that nigga don't act like that. So I, I'm gonna be the same person I am with my with my boys as I am with my girl. Like I should be the same. Of course, you know, I'm not going, you know, like all the stuff that girls want to do, like cuddling. We do that because that's what we think y'all want to do. We're not do natural that. people that do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, but at the end of the day, in the end game is the girl I'm with should support me for who I am, not for who she want me to be. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because if I'm over here, in other words, ladies, stop buying these, dude, stop getting these dudes like these are like this is house hunters. Okay, we're not fixing up houses. Okay, whoever that nigga was when you met him is who we going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't sit there and say, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this nigga and build him up to the man I want him to be. You are gonna lose every time. You gotta, you gotta go for the, go for the house you want. Go for the picket fence. That nigga that already got the picket fence, not the nigga that you want to have a picket fence that you think has potential to have it. Because mm -hmm. if you thinking you gonna build this nigga up, you are gonna lose. The house gonna fall. Cause neither one of y'all know how to build a house. Mm. So, so let me ask you another. Do you, like, do you think some of the onus is on women, like the, the like the dudes that they choose? Right, and I say that in a sense of, you know, it, like if they went towards, um, right, so they might they might uh, be attracted to the dude that they feel as though they can help improve besides like being attracted to the dude that like is already there and established. Well, I think women are attracted to what they think everybody else wants. And so if I'm going, if, if you like that bad boy that ain't got no money, you just like him because, you know, he, he, you know he, he just one of the rough dudes or whatever. That shit, everything come in phases. Women go through their phases. They like that dude that was, 
you know, good for me. You think about women got to do for every type of situation. You got to do to cut your grass. You got to do that to help pay your bills. And you got to do you call over to smash. Like we all know, like women are just more strategic about the shit when it comes to it. Like dudes, we can be a little bit more messy. We know the the chick, the chick babysits our baby, our, our child or some shit, some goofy ass shit like that. But you know, innately when it comes from when it comes from women's decisions and how they want how they want the man you know to come into their life. Again, they're not hunting us. We're hunters. We're hunting them. So they want they have to make sure their energy is correct. You got to make sure if you want that person, yo. Follow your passion. So if you if you want to be a dentist or you want to be a nurse, then be a nurse, and you'll you'll eventually meet that person in your life that's gonna be conducive to what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. You gonna say, hey, look, I'm over here. I was over here painting at the art gallery because that's what I like to do, and I end up running to you know due to my dreams because you wouldn't have met him at the club. You out here partying with your girls. You never gonna meet that dude. You know, well, where'd y'all meet? Well, we it was a, it was a uh, young Jeezy club. Like, well, come on now. Like, that mm. ain't no real relationship. Mm. You got to meet them. I'm not saying go to church, but I'm saying go to where your church at. Go to where you think that, hey, look, I'm going to be, if I want to meet that guy, then I got to project where I want to meet him. Because as long as I continue to meet, uh, you know, as long as I continue to put this energy out there, this is where I'm going to end up. So it's mm. really, yeah, it's kind of on them because, you know, again, superficial. You are, you think that all these things around you, all this attention, because, you know, all women need attention to a degree, right? You need some type of attention. If we don't give it to you, get it from somewhere else. Somebody else, what you will, what this guy won't do, another guy will. All that good, you know, bullshit, whatever, right? But at the same time, you want to make sure, hey, if my energy is correct, don't get distracted by all this other shit that gives you options. Mm. Keep it to where you want to be. I'm, I'm telling you, it works every time. Like. You don't need no date naps. You don't need none of that shit. Just follow what you' trying to be. You, you, you know what I what I what I low key hear you saying, and, and you know we know like a portion of the mantra on this channel is being about your purpose. Like it, it sounds like you're saying like women should be on their purpose as well. Always, always. It should never be a, a moment where you lack. We always gonna have bad days. We always gonna have you know situations where. You know, I, I have, you know, I don't feel like being on my purpose, but you got to realize it's bigger than you. And if you want to attract something, if you want to be successful, you got in all aspects of your life. It's no mistake why all like successful people meet each other. Occupation, Occupation, right. You know what I mean? Like, all successful people know each other. Right. All the people who make 150000 a year in this city, they all know each other. You know what I'm saying? All the people out here that want to be entrepreneurs, they all know each other. They all go to the same meetings. If you, you got to make sure you put yourself in a position to succeed but don't you know don't drive in the hood and expect to see dirt in your shoes you you know where you at mm. don't don't think that we gonna be over here like it's just gonna fall into your lap you might get lucky but it's not it's not reality reality of it is we got to project what we want to receive women men this ain't even this is this is asexual it, women men include it don't matter mm. you got to project what you want to receive in life and everything else will fall into place but as long as you continue to sit there and say I can't do this. I can't do that. Well, you've already negated what you could, what was possible. Mm. Anything that you say, anytime you say I can't, you've already triggered a subconscious thing in your brain to say, "Damn, this ain't possible no more." Even if it could, even if it is possible, it ain't no more because you said it isn't. So whatever you say it is or is it, you're right. Change your attitude. Everything's a double-edged sword. In other words, any negative situation you're in, you'll turn it over and look at the positive side. Even if it's a little speck, this is how we're gonna get out of this. Mm. I know it's kind of like, you know, it's something that I'm very passionate about because we have to make sure that the people in our lives, women, men, like it, this, even family don't even get excluded from it. Because if you got toxic family members, it don't matter. You know, we always give family a pass because, you know, they, they blood, oh, that's my family, but they, if you're not bringing me up, you bring me down. If I'm not going, I'm never going to get ahead fucking with you. Hmm. That's on all levels. That's just the way it is. It's cutthroat, but your time is more important than their bullshit. It's, it's, it's way more important. But you you touch on so many different disparate topics that you bring together in a <laughs> in a way that I feel like is really easy to to understand. You know what I mean? So so listen, we covered a sure. bunch of top topics. Not even really get into the video. Like should we <laughs> should we keep on? I, I think I'm known for that now. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you definitely known for that. You definitely known for that. Yeah. All right. Is, is there any other information you can share or or impart? Because like, and and let's keep it specific to to the end game. 
right because you know we got some dudes on here that watch this that feel like they never gonna get married and there's some dudes that feel like they should never be in a relationship mm. and some dudes that feel like they sh like they should never have kids mm -hmm. right i like, feel like that yeah. yeah and you know so so i think for me like i so i would want to have kids in order to raise you know young black man or woman to be to carry on a legacy um, uh, 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 you know, into the future mm -hmm. and to make the future even brighter. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sold on the marriage thing just because it's to me it's just a contract. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, you know, religion aside, it's, it's, mm -hmm. if that's if you're spiritual, to me, if you take that out, it's just a contract, right? But right. if you could, if you can talk more, you know, if you were to conclude, kind of like like what's the end game, right? Like 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 what like what should we be focused on? towards um kind of what what we are known for uh and and what this whole thing means i think the end game is focus on your foundation focus on building that because you know marriage feels like a contract until you meet the woman where it don't feel like a contract mm. right so everything it comes full circle like if i'm on i mean that just means the woman that i've either been around or you've been around that means it they don't make you feel like it's just a cop. They don't give you any other purpose, like perspective, right? Mm -hmm. Like everything is about exposure. So until I meet that individual where I'm exposed differently, and that's both ways. If I meet somebody where they expose me something different, it's like, damn, I didn't know a relationship could be this easy because I've been dealing with all this bullshit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like, if I find that person where it makes life simple, you're going to have your disagreements. You're going to have your ups and downs like everybody else. But it's how you handle it. Life is 80-20. 80% of the time is how you handle it. The 20% you can't control. And if you focus on what you, how you handle things foundationally, the end game is easy. It doesn't feel like an end game. It feels like the beginning. Mm. So all you have to do is make sure that as, as a whole, that you are projected what you want to give back. If you want to, if you want to have that marriage and you want to believe that that person is meant for you, then start living your life as if you already have it. Mm -hmm. You know, dress for the, you know, prepare yourself for the job you got or the job you want, not for the job you got. Mm -hmm. And that's all, that's not just your career. That's how you live your life. That's how you live your purpose. That's how you, you know, that's how you motivate others. Right. Everything will fall into place. Again, it sounds simple, but start with your foundation. How do you want to build your life and start attracting that same energy? And I promise you, the end game won't feel like an end game. You say, look, I'll be able to get married because I, I was minding my business and here she came. Right. Here, I was over here walking around the park and damn, I ran into her because I was doing something I wanted to do. Right. But as long as you're over here distracted by whatever else distracts you, you're never going to get to the end game. The end game is going to seem like it's a never ending tunnel with a light and it never gets bigger. Right. And we have to make sure that we are focusing on, okay, if I want this, then I have to say it and go get it. Mm. Go get what you want. It's right there in front of you. Focus on what's it like. Get your blinders up. Stop looking left and right. All this stuff that's within hands reach, reach for that. But don't reach for stuff that's out of your control because you'll be, it's uncontrollable. Uncontrollable energy, it's like uncontrollable variable. If I have uncontrollable variable that I can't control, I'm wasting energy. Right. When I could be using that energy towards getting that end goal, I might be chasing it forever because I still ain't figured it out. And age don't mean nothing. Just because I'm 40 or 30, oh, I'm gonna give me an older dude, that don't mean shit. I know some grown, I know some grown ass children that's 40 years old. Mm. It don't mean nothing. It don't fix your foundation. I know some young niggas that got the brain of, a, of old niggas. All because they know the end game exists way before. The, and we all at different paces. This is, this is a marathon. We want to make sure that end game wise, we can focus on our foundation and build off of that. And I promise you, your wife will be at the door once the house is done. You know, you, you said something um, so profound. And it was, it was the concept that, you know, 80% is controllable and 20% is not. I think there's a lot of people out there that, that think that 20% is controllable and the 80% is not. And we have to change, mm. we have to change that concept. Perspective. We, we have to change that perspective. Perspective. Because it's just not, it's just not true. Like, yeah, there's some people that are born with the difficulty level of their life set on extra, extra high. Right. And there's some people that are born with a silver spoon in their mouth and they have a lot more options available of to course. them. But I feel as though, especially in America, and you start to see it too when you start to travel outside of America. Like I've been to Thailand, mm -hmm. and you know, the third world in Thailand isn't. It, there's nothing like that here in America. Right. Like 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 the hoods over there. 
it, it's unbelievable uh, right. the type of poverty that it, that exists uh, outside of the U.S. But unless you have that perspective, you wouldn't understand that. Right. Like what what you considered a, a, a bad day is is someone else wasn't able to get water that day mm. for real, mm. right? So so that be eighty thankful, twenty. Man. So be thankful, mm. right? And no matter what the media tries to convince you that you live in the worst country on this world, you absolutely man. do not. And no matter what your situation is, there's resources that are available to Thanks. you that right. are for free That's that right. can help you on your road. <clears throat> One of those is right here. It's YouTube. That's right. You, you know, you, you have the opportunity to go anywhere on this website That's and right. learn about something that you didn't know yesterday in order to try to improve your life and upgrade yourself. That's right. So, so listen, Tehran, as always. Always, brother. Listen, man. Positive vibes knowledge, only. Knowledge. Positive vibes only. So, but listen, this has been your video. Okay. I am Mediocre Tutorials and I'm Reviews. I'm Tehran. Holla at your boy, man. Listen, man, I don't know if you want to throw up any, any IG or anything like that. Uh, it's man, up to you, you know, man. Like I said, Tehran Photography, T-E-R-O-N Photography. You know what I'm saying? I got a little YouTube. You know, I've had it forever. Uh, it's Tehran, T-E-R-O-N. I'm the first Toronto YouTube because I've had it forever. But, yo, I'm going to start posting on there, so... Come find me. You know, I got some old videos on there. But yeah, holla at me, man. You already know what it is. Absolutely, Appreciate the man. opportunity, bro. Man, listen, man. I what you're doing. Listen, man, I appreciate you coming through yes, and sharing sir. all that knowledge. But this has been your video. Questions, comments, concerns, leave yes, them sir. down in the description box down yeah. below. He's got a YouTube now, so he's going to be coming through and right. <laughs> checking out the comments, all right? You might get a little crazy, but you know. Absolutely. <laughs> Speaking for real. Absolutely. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. Till next time. Peace. Peace.